Hi booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Books I'm Not Reading. I am here today with a very special video. I am here to do a booktube newbie fake crate. Um, so if you're new or if you've never seen a fake crate video before, um, this is my <laughs> pretend imaginary company. Um, that I would be able to send things out that are not possible to send. Um, so it it was supposed to be it's supposed to be something that has a little bit of like the Mary Poppins feel to it. So this is the booktube newbie fake crate. It's got books on the outside, even on the back. I don't know how you can see the old man in the sea there, but um, and inside this fake crate. Um, are really primarily ideas more than anything else. So I have 10 things to share um, as for those of you who are new to booktube, who are maybe thinking about starting a booktube channel. Um, and these are primarily intangible things. So I don't have, normally I have things to show um, and I don't really have that uh, as much this time. So bear with me on that. Um, a lot of these answers came from a survey that I took um, that it was on my community tab. Um, and so it does really reflect the people who watch my channel. Um, if you're watching this video and you have a booktube channel and you have something that you think should be included in a booktube newbie fake crate, please, please leave that in the comment section below. If you have a question about any of the ideas that I, um, I have 10 that I'm gonna to suggest to you, by all means, please ask the question down below. I would love to help you. Um, and other people might chime in as well and respond to your questions. So, okay. So number one, what does a booktube newbie need in a fake crate? They need books, right? But I am not by any means saying that you need to go out and buy a whole bunch of books. Um, there are libraries. Um, you, can, you could always access books from your library. There's audiobooks. There's e-reader books. So um, yeah, like you don't have to... You don't have to buy any any books to have a booktube channel. The second um, thing that came from the survey as being the most important was having um, vision for your channel. What are you going to talk about? What? How is your channel going to make you different from other booktubers? And this might be something that evolves over time. Probably it does for everyone a little bit. Like we kind of find our niche a bit. One of the things that came out in the comments of my survey was people did not want to see videos where people hold up a book and say, I really liked this and then don't say anything else. So like think about what you're going to say about that book in particular, even if it's only just a few sentences. Um, the third thing, and I think this is so important, um, and my cat is not included. Blue, let's let's say hi to everyone. Oh, say hi. The cat is not included in the fake crate. But if you have pets, <laughs> people do like to watch videos with animals in them. So anyway, I'm sorry you can't see him, just his tail. Okay, so the third thing is support from other booktubers. Um, first of all, you must do the booktube newbie tag. And if you type booktube newbie tag um, on YouTube, you will, you'll find a whole bunch of them. You'll find, there's a couple different versions out there. Just do it, just do it. Because there are booktubers who every week are scrolling through and looking um, for new channels to subscribe to. And, um, and people who don't have channels. Um, are looking to subscribe to those channels. Um, I, I really want to give a shout out to MJ at Reading This Life. She has just been a real champion for small booktubers. I think she has an episode every week on her channel regarding new small booktubers. Um, and I, 
I also think she started like a live stream for people to to talk about um, being a small booktuber and um, yeah, so there's a lot, there is a lot of support, but you do need to make that booktube newbie tag. The second thing you need to do, and this is, this is the thing that I just, man, I really missed the boat on this. You should comment on as many videos as you, as you can. If you, if you're going to spend the time to watch an entire booktube video, by all means, you definitely should leave a comment. Um, because, um, I mean, I, I know myself, like, if I have a comment from someone I've never heard from before, I'm definitely going to click on that little icon to see if they have a channel. Um, I do regularly look at the um, people who are new subscribers to my channel that have their... Ha you have to have your, your settings to the point where... Um, uh, your sub every channel you subscribe to is is public, right? So, um, and so I don't see everyone, but there's a lot of people who have channels. They subscribe to my channel, and they they never leave any kind of comments what at all. And so I'm like, okay, like I, you know, I just don't really understand that. Um, at least you. You could at least leave an emoji, um, but if you don't feel like you have anything to say, but booktubers, I mean, most of us, we that's like the greatest reward is is the interaction in the comment section and getting to know people. So, so by all means, comment, comment. If you're thinking about starting a channel, you should start to do that now. Like you should start to leave comments because eventually, when you do have a channel. Um, you know, at least some people in booktube will already feel like they know you, right? Because you've commented on their videos. So that's super important. <laughs> the two areas that had the lowest percentage of votes on my community survey were equipment and technical savvy. Um, and I'm not really surprised by that because my channel is very low tech and I am, I would never describe myself as a person with technical savvy. So I'm going to show you right now what equipment I use. This is the only equipment that I have for booktube aside from the iPad that I'm filming this on. So this, this tripod just helps keep the camera stable. It adjusts down below um, so you can adjust the legs and then there's also a place to adjust it here and make it go higher. And then this we bought to put on top of the tripod um, to hold our iPads and it has a locking feature in the back. So it's just nice, like you can see how wobbly just this video is of my equipment, but um, nonetheless, uh, I, I feel like it was a worthwhile investment. I did have a comment um, uh, in, in the survey that I thought was really valid. Um, so no, you don't need to go buy a ring light but it is really, really important as far as technical abilities that people can hear you and that people can see you. So I don't think, like I'm just using the lights in my basement right now <laughs> and I'm using the mic on my iPad. That's it, I don't have, I don't have a mic. Um, and when the, the one technical thing I do is to edit in iMovie and you can adjust the volume of your entire video there. And so I usually amp it up to t somewhere between 200 and 300% volume. I want you to be able to hear what I'm saying. So that is one thing, like just, you don't have to buy a mic. Um, and and if people have advice about equipment and and technical savvy and that kind of thing please by all means put that down below in the comment section but because this is a, a real area of weakness for me so again it's just it's just really important that people can hear what you're saying and and i think 
I think it's important that they, they can see you. You're not filming in the dark, right? So now we're gonna get into some things that weren't necessarily on my survey, but that I feel like are really important. Number five. Booktube is the most time consuming hobby I have ever had, I think, <laughs> in my life. So you need to realize that you need time to read or listen to audiobooks. You need time to process that. Um, and then you need to make the video and then upload the video. <laughs> and hopefully people will comment on your video and you'll want to respond to those comments. And I would love to be able to give you time, like give you like an extra like two hours a day. <laughs> my next gift, if I could give this to all of you, I've seen this on so many different channels, struggles with this, is being afraid of the camera. Don't be afraid of the camera. And every video you make, you will gain confidence in talking to the camera. Number seven is uh, show some personality, be real. Um, so I wore these, <laughs> my hair in pigtails today um, for this video because I did this, this is, this is what I did to my hair when I was making videos, when I first started my channel. <laughs> Very few of you will remember the pigtail days. Um, but I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. I don't know if I was trying to set myself apart from other people. I certainly don't wear my hair like this on a normal basis. <laughs> um, but I, you know, I was, I was trying to figure out the vision maybe for my channel and I don't know, maybe I wanted to be younger and now it's like, well, there's, you can already see the gray. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, so I don't wear my hair in pigtails anymore because that's not really me. Um, and I think it's so important to just yeah, be transparent. You can definitely still have boundaries. There are certain things I absolutely will not talk about on my channel. Um, but, uh, you know, those boundaries are different for everyone. So, um, but people really like to, to, to feel like they know you personally. One of the, um, kind of, again, a theme in the comments on my survey was there are people who watch a lot of booktube content and they don't read the same books at all, but they really like that person. They really like the vibe or the energy that's on that channel. And so that's why, that's why they watch it. It has nothing to do with the books. I won't say that's true for everyone. <laughs> I definitely know people who are like, if I'm not reading anything you're reading, then this is silly. Um, there are certain channels that I subscribe to for certain events, um, booktube events that happen in the year, um, in part because they are so creative with those events and what kind of content um, they have on their channel at that time. Right, number eight. This one's so hard to, but again, I really wish I could give it to you, is go easy on yourself. Extend yourself grace. We all make mistakes. We all have videos we'd like to maybe delete or things that happened on BookTube that we wish we could do differently in hindsight. So don't worry about that. Like don't, don't be discouraged when you make mistakes. Learn from them. Number nine is etiquette. Um, so again, and I think that if you watch a lot of booktube before you start your channel or early on in your channel's life, um, there are just certain things like that are just, I guess, maybe polite things to do. <laughs> so the, the biggest thing that I see in this area is on tag videos. If you make a tag video, by all means, please, please include or mention who created that tag. Even if they weren't the person that tagged you, you should give credit to the creator of that tag, even if it was created six years ago. And I mean, like sometimes 
the booktube newbie tag it's hard to find out who the creator is um but if you look at enough booktube newbie tags you'll probably find it eventually um and 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 again nobody's gonna tag you for i'm tagging you right now for the booktube newbie tag no one's gonna tag you um so you just have to do that one. And I also feel like some booktubers be, at the beginning, we really do feel like, oh, like I have to be tagged in order to make this tag video. No, you don't have to be tagged, but you do need to give credit to the creator of the tag. Um, and you really should include um, the questions in the tag as well as if you're tagging anyone. So again, this is another way that you can um, grow your channel and, and, and have other people that may not be watching your channel, but you're watching their channel, right? Um, alert them to the fact like, hey, I have a channel, I'm tagging you. <laughs> so, so all you have to do is do the little ad symbol and then start typing their channel name and it'll come up. It's so much easier now than it used to be. Um, that's one, one area that YouTube's really improved. And then I would just say like, oh, you know, if you have a Goodreads, if you have an Instagram account, um, some people have Storygraph, um, other ways for you to connect with people. Um, if, if someone's doing film videos, maybe they have a letterbox account or something like that. So, so link that stuff below. <laughs> um, find ways to build connections with other people. Some people are comfortable having an email. Um, I, I, I am not, that, that's one of my boundaries. I'm not going to put an email address up. Um, but I do know, like, for instance, um, it's much easier, to, like you could send me a message on Instagram and, um, and, and I might be able to find out about you and your channel and and get to know you better that way so um so i think there's just like i said like, like some things don't waste that space down below like you know you want people to be able to find find your channel and find your content and then it's up to them as to whether or not they watch it and that's another another area to go easy on yourself and finally number 10 is have fun have fun it's about community and being able to talk about books that you enjoy and books that you despise and um and being in conversation with other book lovers and that's the real joy for me if you're miserable then that's probably going to come across in your videos so I just really, again, I just want to encourage all of you booktube newbies out there and, and especially those of you who have a channel, if you have advice that you'd like to share to booktube newbies, please, please put it down below in the comment section or if you completely disagree with me about one of these things, um, by all means, by all means, feel free to tell me uh, again in the comment section. Booktube, remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.